welcome back to my channel make sure you subscribe hi guys welcome back to life with take gaming while you're here don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the post notification bell so you know every time i post if it's your first time on the channel i'm tay welcome to life with take gaming so today's episode is going to be about crazy pickups i got this week and i had a challenge this week i'll do it again and i'll document it more and just so you guys some people won't believe me but I'm only spending $20 on a title. Even though I know it might be new titles that came up for $79 or etc. Let's get right into it. This week I was, was pretty successful. So we'll start off with the Switch games. Switch games I got this week. Which if you get any Switch game for $20 you got a good deal. But I got some amazing ones you guys are going to be like, wow. So we we'll started off with... You know all the Pokemon mainstream titles and this week I actually finished up. So I was kind of cheating, I won't lie. I had Pokemon Sword and I would have Pokemon Diamond but I wouldn't get Shield or you know what I mean? Oh I had Pikachu, let's go, I didn't get Eevee. But people are saying you know you don't have the complete set if you don't have both. So when I got this, Pokemon let's go Eevee. Found this at value. Village. When have you even found a Switch game at Value Village? That's crazy. Super happy to add that to the collection. Pokemon Eevee on the Switch. Then I had Sword, Pokemon Shield. I actually got this for $15. $15. You know, I mean, people only think I don't believe this, but I'd be really finding these steals. Or trades, so I don't have to save money. So, Triangle Strategy. This just came out. This is $79. What ended up happening is I brought some PS3 games to, to GameStop and a couple PS4 games, just like regular titles, Spider-Man, whatever. And they weren't giving me much for those. They're giving me like $7, $6. You know how GameStop is, you guys. You know, I'm not hating on them. I love them. But this guy personally, some of the PS3 games, I know some doubles or stuff I didn't have. This guy personally, I don't want to say names. I don't want to get nobody in trouble. Told me hey, I don't have that game. I'll buy those games off you if you want to get rid of them. And I was like, well, you know what? You guys aren't giving me enough trade credit. I, I, I came here to pick up this game today. It's kind of, you know, expensive. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? He said, I'll buy the game for you. Just give me those games and do your trade-ins. And I'll just pay with it my card. I said, deal, no problem. So boom, triangle strategy. Didn't pay anything, just did a couple trades to GameStop and got this. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. I appreciate that, man. That's another Switch title down, and I can't wait to dive into that one. Bravely Default. Priced at $39. Did some trades on it with um, Video Game Trader. Got that quick times. So, Bravely Default. So, ooh, Bravely Default. So, that's four Switch games you got. This one right here went on a quick sale on Amazon. So if you're watching this video, hope and go on Amazon quick. This right now is going for $19.99 brand new on, on Amazon. So a couple deals also last week, there was a Mario sale. So if you wanted 3D Mario, Bowser's Fury, all that stuff, it was only a four day sale and it was like $54 for those titles, which are obviously 79 They haven't dropped from there. Nintendo titles don't really drop. And yeah, so I didn't have this in my Dragon Ball Z collection. I have it digitally on my PS4, but I didn't have it. And then now this comes. This one comes with a new Power Awaken set, so like DLC. So I'll probably play it on there. Can't wait to open it and dive into it. And another title I did not have physically on the Dragon Ball Z collection. This one here. This one is a doozy. Monster Boy. I was so happy to add this to my collection, my Switch collection. Comes with a nice little, I think, little booklet. Shows you how to do the moves. It's pretty cool in there, man. Like, it's pretty dope. A lot of detail in this game. I'm pretty sure it's hand-drawn, hand-drawn um, animations. It's like you're playing a cartoon, pretty much. I've heard this, like, a, I've heard this is a stunning HD graphics. I was happy with this one. This is a great game. I'm so happy to add that to the Switch collection. This one's going up in price too. I'll pop right, I'll show you right here what this one's valued right now. So getting this for such a good deal was happy. So happy. So today was this week was kind of like a Switch week. So we got added new six Switch games to the title. Why can't I ever speak? Six. So we added those. 
also picked up some more Dragon Ball Z stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we picked up um, Dragon Ball Z collectible card game on GBA I didn't have. Also a GBC Dragon Ball Z. Legendary Super Warriors. Two games to add to the collection. And you guys, I'm getting very, very close to having the whole North American Dragon Ball Z, every Dragon Ball Z title release, which I'm pretty happy about. Before we end this, before I go into the other pickups, I'm gonna say end. Before I go into the other pickups I have, I'm gonna start doing this thing to let you guys know what kind of games I'm into in the comment below. I'll have um, reach out on my social media, links will be in the description below. DM me on Instagram, a console, leave in the comments a console, and the majority of my Facebook polls and Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube comments, I'll just see whichever com console wins. And then I'll show you guys my favorite game on that console. So I'll call it Pay's Console Pick of the Week. So obviously if you can tell by my shirt, this week it's gonna start with do 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 DBZ Fighters. Dragon Ball Z Fighters is one of the best fighting games I've played probably the last probably like five, six years, to be honest. Like it's probably the best Dragon Ball Z fighting game ever made. It is it's been the best since 2017. They haven't topped it yet. Kakura came out after it. It's a good game, but it's not like a fighting game like this. And to this day, this came out on PS4 and it's still very relevant. I got this on day one. I'm a super Dragon Ball Z fan. This game is so sweet. I'm gonna show you some footage and gameplay of it right now. And you guys can enjoy some of that. If you haven't played this yet, this is my title of the week for the PS4. So leave in the comments below if you wanna see a PS5 game, a Game Boy game, a Sega game. Just name the console and I'll show you my favorite game on it. And also leave your favorite game on that console below too. So right now I'll show you some footage on the Dragon Ball Z Fighters right now. Guys, so we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. Much fun. So let's go into the rest of the pickups I got this week. These next three. These are the game. These are the GameCube titles I picked up this week. We'll start with a banger right now. You know? Actually, I'm gonna say the best for last. But this one's up there. As you can, as you know, if you watch my previous videos i am collecting the gamecube north american set as well as the wii u if you want to see the wii u series hit the um, link right here and you can start that from episode one i think we're like five six episodes in now and i'm also gradually collecting the north american gamecube set as well so i'm definitely this is not going to be done in a year maybe four years maybe five years maybe two i don't know maybe i'll get bored and just want to collect for it full time but right now i'm just doing very casually if i see a black label complete for ten dollars i usually just pick it up and that's just how i've been doing casually you know get a good deal on it a lot or something so started off with mega man anniversary collection someone posting this for twenty dollars i got it complete super great condition super fun game um I'm, i believe it's mega man 10 mega man games on one disc yeah so this is super sweet Glad to add that to the collection. You know, I always love adding GameCube stuff. Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legends. I think I believe I got this one for ten dollars. So I don't know how much it's worth. It might be thirty, I think. So yeah, I'll find out and pop the price up right here. But ten dollars, I think, is a steal. Any GameCube game that's black label, great condition, and complete, ten dollars. It's pretty good. And then this one was a real banger. My friend, console collector. <laughs> Do you want, if you don't know, you know, check out his videos. It's always gonna be in my description below from now on. If you guys want to check out that channel, he's dope, dope dude. 
pass me this link. I believe he was at work and or he has it already because he really has the North American set of GameCube. So he just posted a video of showing all of the the set. So that video will be in the link in the description below. Check it out. But I got Billy Hatchet. He Hatcher? <laughs> Billy Hatcher. Um, and the giant egg. He pointed me in the direction. He said that's a super I know you're collecting for the GameCube. This one is pretty um rare and it's going up in price so grab it now if you can so message the man um he said i was like the 10th in line but he's seen on the maps that i live close so come grab it if you want and i said sure i'll definitely come get it <laughs> so i went and got it it's fully complete as all the inserts this is an amazing shape i tried it out because i test all my stuff now so um <laughs> i didn't before took some losses now I do my diligence and try it out. So, um, yeah, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Got that off the GameCube list. Who did those pickups? And another pickup I, wanted, I got, last and final one, was an NES game. It was actually Dragon Power. Cool thing about this game is it's actually a Dragon Ball Z game. It was actually the first Dragon Ball Z game actually released in North America. They call it Dragon Power. It doesn't look anything like a Dragon Ball Z character or Goku or anybody on the front, but if you look close enough, you can see that this is Shenron. Let me see if I can get it on here. Yeah, you can see this is Shenron right here. And when you go into the game, I'll actually show you some clips of that as well. You see Boma. Goku doesn't look like himself, but they talk about these mystical balls. And you know what I mean? It was just like introducing North America to the Dragon Ball Z plot. It was definitely, definitely a different type of game. Like this was 1987. So. Yeah, I'll show some clips of this. And if you didn't know, this is a Dragon Ball Z game, so I had to add it into the collection. So I'll show you some clips of this right now. back hope you guys had fun this video i had a great time picking up these deals this week it was super excited and yeah don't forget to leave a comment below subscribe to this video drop below a console and i'm gonna show you guys more of what i like and more of me every video so thank you for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>